really hard to get in. The best you can do is like a really perfectly timed back air or like a fade back back air right after the up tilt and then you get a grab. So if Pac can do that and Caleb can like Caleb can really lay the smackdown. CVG. Yeah. Caleb is gonna have to have a really good uh punish game. He's not gonna be able to get you, you just can't get beat up if you're the Pikachu. Because the Kirby's the one that's supposed to be getting beat up a lot of the time. Isn't this only losers finals? No? This is a... Uh... Yeah, this is soup. No, this is losers finals. This is losers finals because KD and Stevie have only won. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was thinking KD three couldn't have been in uh, Super Losers yet. Well, they played Super Losers finals. Um. So, all right. Yeah. Let's see if KD three does try to go at E pad here. I think that's definitely something we should watch for. I think he's gonna run straight out. Does the blue? Does the blue Pika oh, go ready. right at the uh, red Kirby? And is Epad able to to keep KD3 at bay while he lets Caleb maybe beat up on Stevie G here? <laughs> Use the phrase light stage here. Alright, so now so KD and Stevie are blue? Uh, yes, I believe so. Uh, by how they're seated, yeah, I would assume they are port one and two. I like the help. Oh, Caleb. Yeah. Caleb, heads up play to save your teammate right there. Oof. Does he bad get back from this? No. KD3 and Stevie. Oh, wow, he does get back. I eat my words. A little commentator's curse right there. Oh, no, and Caleb wow, tries Caleb. to save him, but he ends up swatting him instead. But he's going to make it back. Wow, yeah. E-Pad should be dead four times over. If he makes it back this time, there's a problem. He's not going to make it back. Oh, oh but, but he does. But the eye, though. But he does. And once again, they're like, they don't know who's going to be the one to take the initiative. And, they, and he ends up yeah, no, team killing. I mean, they need a Caleb and Epad are in the lead right now. Epad has insane uh, movement DI when he needs to pull it out. So it's he, like can, he, he can really move side. He told me his range is only 78 on his GameCube controller, but I do not believe that. <laughs> the way he could like move on the other side of you when he up. I him. believe it only because I think Epad is uh, an honorable man. I, I I can't say that you're wrong. I agree. I think Epad is honorable, man. I just think you might be mistaken. 78 range is super low, dude. This is regular loser finals. But yeah, here we go. Surprise, Katie didn't Look get at this grab edge guard. Look at just this edge guard. There. Look at that edge guard. Clinical from Epad. Super Katie even a game bit here. Off this yeah, he's playing a little bit off here. Getting a nice combo. Can Caleb? Oh, oh the interrupt save from Stevie. That was great. But he couldn't get it back. Honestly, unbelievable play from Stevie G there to get in there with that forward air, man. Really turned everything into like a tornado. Another smart recovery from Epad, man. They just can't kill him. But can Caleb get back? Yeah, no, I saw Epad thought about just staying on the Halo plat, but he did come off there. Ooh, like in this play getting, Stevie, ooh, he might kill him. abused by Stevie right there, but then he had two up tilts. You tell Katie's looking for that kill on uh, Epad. Yeah, I mean, you can't blame him. So what I would ooh, like there is like good, a second place after the drill. Stevie. You can sometimes second place grab. And he pads out that percent where you can just grab and kill him. They Listen need, to, up they need to kill KD3 oh. right here. Does that kill? Yeah, it does. This is huge. Uh, Stevie G super smart up on to these, stay uh, away. But how many jumps does he have left? Punishes. Oh, just enough to get on stage. If they could have kept Stevie G off stage KD there, has to make something happen. That's his oh. stock. He's playing too passive wow, though. You got to get be, in. You're at low percent. This should be interesting. Either get in on E-pad or get in on... Uh, how good is this team? 
Oh, they're Caleb. passing him. Oh my Back God. air does beautiful. it. Epad and Caleb with a beautiful combo to end game one right there. <laughs> Epad said that was for me. I'll take it. No, I mean, when, it, when it's a 2v1, low low percent Pika, I think they were both around 90, 100% there. So. They were all high percent except for KD3, and KD3 needed to get in there on the bottom and maybe squat with a back air uh, E pad. Yeah. Or if yeah. you're not, you just have to hit somebody because wall, you're leaving your wall, man out to dry. He was playing top the back plot. air, yeah. Yeah, he, he was playing top plot, and at 0%, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah. Gotta make something happen there. Yeah, I mean, you could even you could even sacrifice a grab at that point. We were talking about this before. If you could grab the Pika there at 0% and take the punish, probably 30, 40% you'll get from the Kirby. Yeah. Is it worth is it worth taking out the Pika? And I think it is. But here we go. Right into game two. Alright, like to start from KD. Caleb's heating up. Yeah, Caleb looking yep, really, really polished right now. Oh, I'm not sure what those jabs were. I mean, he missed a... You know what's kind of funny? e staying at my house and I was talking to him about doubles yesterday. And he was saying all day that he's like, me and Caleb are here to beat Stevie G and KD3 in doubles. And really? uh, yeah, and they're showing right now that they're uh, more than capable of beating what we thought was one of the best teams in America. In Stevie I mean, Gene not what we thought. They still are. Let's yeah. not let's all not right, go that far. All right, all right. Yeah, I know Neil, right. you like your narratives, but let's, let's right not get for crazy. Me out. You're right for calling me off of that wording, but I, I wouldn't have, have chosen any other <laughs> words for that. I mean, Caleb and Epad, this might be their first time teaming. No. And it, and it kind of looks like they're handing it to KD3. No, they, they teamed right at Smash Overfest. Okay, so maybe their second time teaming. Versus yeah, they, KD3 they also play CDC. online a, a bunch, and I imagine they play teams. That's true. Um, I don't know not, about not their saying online, that they're Not uh, saying they're like, you know, static partners or anything, but at least somewhat familiar with each other. I mean, apparently. They're, they're yeah, very, this edge very, this edge guarding is great. They're either having amazing like analysis reads of what their partner is gonna do. Oh my or, god! Or they definitely strategize this. They're smothering them right now. Yeah, yeah. Very, very well done, smothering. The spacing is good between and themselves. Another time, Caleb interrupts. Sometimes, yeah, you're like right. that's been the I, narrative. I just feel like E-Pad is playing so well. And the only time they actually mess up is when Caleb overextends. I have to agree with you, Lo. I've been seeing the same things there. But yeah, I think Caleb is so like in attack mode right now that he's seeing red. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's good. Just don't let that lead slip away by yeah. playing too uh, too aggressive. Oh, 100 percent. But I, I'd rather have an aggressive Caleb than someone who just stands around. Can he kill both? Wow. Oh, God, let's he go. hit all three characters on the screen with that down B. But didn't kill his partner. And now Stevie G needs to do pull off nothing short of a miracle. Oh. Oh, yeah. The yeah, E-pad DI, man. Oh, I love it. Yeah, nice little passing there. Nothing too crazy, though. Stevie G definitely well-versed in the 2v1s. That should be it here. Yeah, I mean, unless you got a like an easy spike, it's just not humanly possible. Yeah, that should be it. All right, so two one, Caleb E pad. Who saw that coming? Is it is it two one or two zero? Two zero, I mean. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Epad, Epad predicted this. Oh, wait, Stevie G's doing something. What's Stevie G doing? What is Stevie G doing? He wants to switch seats? What? What's Stevie G asking for? What's going on? They're, what's going on? He wants to change TVs. TVs? In the middle of the set? You can't do that. Can't, can't do it? No. We're not granting them the TV change. 
I mean, you should have said something like in the beginning of game one or yeah, something. Yeah, like, I mean, now they're up to. Oh, I understand like, a, where he's coming I, I from, get but it. I agree with you. I as get well. it because, like, if you feel like something is off, but now what you're doing is yeah, now it's, it's now it's icing a little bit, like mm -hmm. because they're in their groove and stuff like that. And that's just, I, I don't like that. I don't like it either. Especially when they, they've lost two sets to them. Now After I'm, game one, I think I would have had a much better chance of granting that. But after game two, like, sorry, bro. You already played two games here. I mean, I, I, right. it's not that I don't so, believe Steve either. No, so no, I don't, I believe, I, I don't think he'd I be absolutely, lying. I absolutely believe that there, there could be something wrong or something feels off. But they're two, they're two games in. Like. Yeah. But that also means Stevie G is pissed. Let's, yeah. say, let's see if that's he plays a little sharper. No, nah, maybe he plays a little sharper when he's angry, man. You don't know. Stevie G is a very uh, peculiar player in this scene. I think they wanted to play on a completely different CR tape, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Don't quote me on that's, that. That's what he wanted. He wanted a completely new TV. It wasn't about the console or anything. But yeah, no, here we go. I could see uh, KD3 and Stevie G reverse 3 0 in this if he padded. I could uh, definitely see them reverse 3 0 and Caleb aren't, aren't careful here. I think the difference maker here is uh, KD3 has to do a little bit more damage, honestly. Yeah, and confirm more kills. Yeah, he needs I to go on. I haven't seen enough you know, like, off stage kill confirms. He's doing well right now, though. And they keep going for those drills, but like they're the eyes to go. Yes, I Caleb agree. Caleb and the eye. Yeah, between a GameCube controller and a keyboard player, they're gonna yeah. they're gonna di. Any, so you're better off any just spike, sparing any or spike like... you can imagine, especially multi-hit spikes. Oh, interesting! Wow, and it works. Interesting save from Stevie G there. Somebody clip that. I like that by KD. You know what, Ooh, 170, Stevie. you can live with that. Stevie playing real basic yeah, right like now, that. real slippery. And that's a stock with a back they air. They kind of no, cornered wow, E-pad there. They need, to, they need to seal this. Yeah, you need to take that stock. Back air You cannot let E-pad get back from this. Yeah, 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 down 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 too, but I wouldn't risk the down air because if somebody has really good DI, they can go through it. Yeah, I mean, what did I say? Stevie's playing angry, and now look at this. I was going to say still at four stocks. Caleb yeah, Dancer back here on KD, three. though. He was afraid to do that up air because uh, E-pad was there. It was at 0% though, so it wouldn't have mattered. I mean, I would say it's a basically full stock. Oh, I was about to say full two-stock lead for uh, KD3 and Stevie, but... Oh. Caleb should be able to clean that up, yeah. Practically All right, at least, here. At least KD3 got back because he was getting comboed by E-pad there. And he's off stage again. E-pad holding more than his own weight here. Showing that his Kirby in doubles is, is pretty fucking strong. Pardon my French. Loser grand final. So I wonder, does this mean that KD3 and Stevie have another set to play with? No. Because they beat him twice. It'd they, be really, a, it'd be a shame if, <laughs> if you lose twice. I mean, if, if you beat somebody twice and they only beat you once, but they're the ones that continue on. <laughs> yeah, that would be weird, but yeah, no, I don't think there's like a winner's side. I'm only asking because it says grand I don't, finals. I don't think there's you, a winner's you would think side in any of, grand, of losers, There would be a, a reset. There's no resets other than in I wanna ask full winner's question. side. I'm going to ask because I'm really curious. Pretty sure I'm right, but Lowe's going to ask. All right, Lowe, Lowe's back. Yep, okay, and there it is, a three stock from KD3 and Stevie. Coming back with the vengeance. So that's one game, Stevie G, KD3. What, what's, uh, what's the verdict? Okay, so the verdict is that if Caleb and Epad manage to win, there's a reset. They do losers. have to reset KD3 yeah. and Stevie? Yeah, because they've already beaten them twice. They've only lost once. It's triple limb. What? You can't... It's triple limb, so KD3 and Stevie have only lost once. Oh, because then they go to... Yeah, yeah, 
yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. If it's yeah, triple elimination. Yeah, I about that. Because they would still have to go to super losers. So. Yeah. I forgot about that. All right, so Epad and Caleb need a reset. They're up two games to one. And they, and were, and they were looking, uh, they, yeah, they were looking strong game one and game two. But after Stevie G complained about the CRT, <laughs> he uh, started playing way more defensively. But a missed zip zap from KD3 there, uh, that 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 hurts for sure. Oh, let's see what happens. You know, with here. the reset, I'm gonna have to give this to KD3 and Stevie. Um, I just think they're gonna adapt. Yeah, I mean they they have been adapting already, but. It seems Epad and, and Caleb are still the stronger team so far. I yep. would like to be proven yeah, wrong, but I mean, look I don't at this. So. It's four stocks. It's eight stocks to four already within 55 seconds. And yeah, no, Epad and, and Caleb, baby Caleb, have proven there is zero easy kills that you're getting on them. Dude, I gotta say, I love this triple elimination format. I think, yeah, it's really cool. I think it'd be cool if more tournaments did this. Yeah, especially um, for doubles. As long as it's run, you know, on time and everything's. Yeah, no, this I yeah. thought was pretty timely. Yeah. We started at like 11.45. What time is it now? Five? It's basically been five and a half hours, and we're at the last four teams, last three teams. Oh, but yeah, no, Stevie G KD3 making a bit of a valiant comeback here. But yeah, we need to see a quick stock. We need Stevie G's Kirby off the stage if uh, Caleb and Epad want to. Uh, oh my god, great interruption by Stevie there. He saves KD. Yeah. That up tilt would have led to dub. Stuff. That's just like high class dubs player uh, knowledge right there. Great recognition for KD3 there. Not going for the backer, instead going switching back to E-pad in the middle of that. They're, they're down by so much though, this is gonna have to go to a second set. I want, yep. I wanted them to focus a little on KD there, so then they have that yeah, the 2v1 I mean, time on. Dude, look on, at uh, Caleb TV. with three stocks still, man. He has not been the stock tank the entire time of them being a team. And now suddenly, look at this. Everybody has one stock, and then suddenly, boom, three stocks from the Pika. Ooh, nice pass. He needs to take that stock quick. Caleb misses the edge cancel. Ooh, but catches that back air there. You see the up B from KD3. Gets back safely. Going right after the curve. Nice, like get out of saying. there. I like that from KD. Yeah, probably smart. I would like to see a little more pressure from Ooh, Stevie there. Good back the air. getting back. This is they getting, can get this. Yeah, this is getting really close now. Didn't get an early kill on the Kirby. That juicy percent. DVG KD3 still needs surviving, to get on that Kirby. Though. He needs to get on that Kirby. Yep, yep, and he did. Hit him with a back air. No, that's so oh, and that's it. That's 3-1. Right, I'm gonna go use the bathroom. Yeah, yeah I, I have be to back. as well. Yo, you want a new CRT? I'll, I'll change it if he really no, wants no, it. Alright, play the second set on the other TV. This means a lot to him. <laughs> He's just leaving. No, no, yellow's left. <laughs> Yeah, first set two. 
Alright, I am back. I need to get some water. <sighs> I'm not sure what Stevie's exact complaint was. Do you know what Stevie was complaining about? So Stevie, uh, feeling like there's a uh, something off about the aspect ratio. It's kind of a long break. Whose idea was it to, to do Triple LM? Mine. Yours? I fucking love it. It's so good. It's fun. Lo, have you and Hammer had any close sets? Uh, no. Not yet. We had one close game versus Stevie and KG3. It was the first one, but we made the comeback. And then the other ones, they, it's not like we blew them out, but they weren't like, they weren't close either. Hey. Why? Why would you do that? Ah. <sighs> no, it's okay. I gave Caleb any pad advice. So, that, that's probably why they did too much better. I told him to do what we did. You know, you have your you have your PA crew, but I have the the, the yeah, the online yeah, the TDC, bro. I gotta help. I gotta help my boys. Tell us a story, law. I'm not a storyteller. You can ask me questions. I answer them. Stuff that's going on at the event. Huh? The fa oh no, we're not. They're not talking about that Falcon punch. I fucking hate you. Oh my god. How many wins does losers team in grands need? They need to beat us three times. Three sets. I'm really looking forward to it. When have you done the most damage to property? Uh, when I was young, I think I might have been like 11 years old. I had a uh, a spray can, and I you know I lived I grew up in an apartment, and we had a balcony, and I thought I was cool, so I I spray painted Daredevil on the balcony floor, and it wouldn't come off. And my mom flipped shit. I have a thing when it comes to like writing stuff. So like also when I first learned how to spell my name, I wrote Kevin across the entire apartment wall. And when my parents got home, they like, I was young. So they didn't like, they didn't get too mad at me. They were kind of actually amused, but it was also very inconvenient. We're going into it. <coughs> Do you want to commentate? We're going to have Hammerheart join me since uh, Neil got off commentary. I don't like doing solo commentary. I, always, I like taking a little break here and there. Alright, so I wonder what adjustments... Oh, you, told, you said you actually gave them some tips. So what did you tell them? 
I told Steven and KD to do the exact same thing that we did. Oh to my god, no! <laughs> this is gonna make Grad so much harder for us. What the fuck? No, then we can just have two teams of Kirby's no. just walking around. You're not supposed to give them the secrets. <laughs> no, it'd be really entertaining for everybody watching. Oh though. my god. It's just like two Kirby's slow walking like and up tilting. Oh, I don't like that one bit. All right, well, let's see if he can e pack and uh, continue the good play. If you told him that, he's going to have trouble adjusting. Like, they're already down. I also told KD3 to use up air a lot more against Caleb. <laughs> God, nice to use up air against me, bro. Yeah. You don't know that, though. I mean, they're still I doing think really well. this advice well. has really helped them because they're getting fucking destroyed right now. <laughs> what the hell? Good omen. If we lose, it's because of you. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we get the, like, opportunity to lose, like, 25 games in a yeah. row or some shit. Sure. So, like, we're all good. <laughs> It can be a miserable experience for like an hour straight. Here, we should probably commentate this though. KD's like really turning it on this game. He's moving around a lot more. Yeah, I feel like I was actually saying it, it seems like KD's been a little off. Like, off his game, so I, it's good to see him actually be on now. Like, before he seemed a little slow. And it's weird. He's a very fast player, so it's just not, not what you see off. Yeah, I was gonna say, Katie's so like, like hyper mobile, especially for a Pikachu. Yeah. Look at him. He ends up four stocks right now. <laughs> this is looking like a blowout. I wonder if, if Caleb and Epad are thinking, you know what, we beat the number one seeded team, I'm content. Because yeah. that does happen to people. And then they kind of let their foot off the gas. They're kind of like, oh, we, you know, we did what we what we wanted to do. It's all right that we're, we're going to lose out. They can say that they beat like the second or third best team at SmashCon to everybody. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. Or I wonder if it's just them really just getting their ass beat right now <laughs> because of you. No, I, I did nothing wrong. I support my state. So how do you, how do you think you beat this be strategy? What? Our strategy? Yeah. It's unbeatable. <laughs> it's the well, what if both strategies are doing? I mean, both teams are doing the strategy. There has to be an, an like an answer, an option that would be good. Uh, I think whoever, whichever Kirby is better at surviving, will win. Okay. Because ultimately, both teams have to focus on the Kirby that's on the ground and wreaking havoc, and everybody has to play on the platforms. And all of a sudden, it becomes like a totally different game where Pika becomes overemphasized, and Kirby can just kind of do his thing and get like you know nice extra hits whenever he wants. Yeah, that makes sense. So basically, when we go to play them, whoever it is, you just don't jump as much. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I like to hear. <laughs> Whichever Kirby rolls more, whoever gets, whoever rolls from one side of the stage to the other is the person that's gonna win. I will that's usually say that the we indicator. did get that <laughs> in our sets. <laughs> oh. What would you like to see more from Caleb and Epad this game? Um, I would like to see Caleb just be more aggressive. Yeah. This is specifically on Stevie, because I feel like, I mean, even on KD3, because he's really good at combo and Pika in the Ditto. So like I, versus either or, I just want to see more aggression out of Caleb, especially off stage versus Stevie. Yeah, you need to you need to get those edge guards. I, I think the thing Caleb like very much plays at like a very smooth speed all the time, and he like never fast falls. And I honestly think that hurts you in teams. You need to fast fall. And, like, I think when distance. he plays console, it's different. Though. Yeah, I think he actually fast falls way more because when I play him online, he doesn't fast fall at all. <laughs> but now like he'll he's he's fast falling a bunch right now. Uh, that's a really wow. I'm surprised Steven didn't take like advantage of E-pad right there. You know, even though they're up at, like two stocks right that right now, I feel like it's very very close. Yeah, I think I feel like they're playing a little bit better this game. Uh, Caleb and E-pad. Yeah. Caleb lost an early, a very early stock, but he's been keeping it together. I'd also like to see Steven make more of an effort to try and help KD3 sometimes, because I feel like KD keeps getting like beat up and Steven just, st just standing there. Yeah, it seems like KD... 
Well, I will say in the last couple sets, Stevie has uh, been helped. doing a good job. He's been doing a good job at interrupting, but he does tend to hang around and just like kind of like spec KD just to fuck everybody up and like steal stock. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He will do that. Oh, that was a great edge. Because then it's like, what if KD's not fucking everybody up? You yeah. know, like what do you do there? I mean, that's their hot and cold strategy, though. Dies at 80. Wow. They, like, totally turned it around from last set. I wonder why that is. <laughs> I think they just started trying, you know? Yeah, they you finally know. started trying. <laughs> they finally started making an effort. <laughs> Yeah, that first set just didn't count, you know? Yeah. They had to, like, make them feel a little bit comfortable. And now Steven has his ultra special being TV that he really needed. They changed it? Yeah, our... No, now they're back on the little TV again. Oh, that's I good. You see, I don't have a problem with that. You know, it's the second set. But, like, in mid-set, I just don't think that should be allowed. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Okay. Yeah. And Steven should cover platform. And that should kill. Never mind, I don't know Kirby percentages. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't back there into Thunder. Or Katie should have just ran the other way. That should be it. Oh, well, apparently Katie just can't Thunder. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. You can't grab the ledge like that. Oh, that should be it. Yeah. No, why not back throw? Sometimes you and your teammate need to like take some stop time during stocks to like attack each other, so that way. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I don't like that. I don't like that philosophy. No. So wait. So you get a better idea of when it's good to like back throw your opponent towards the enemy. You know what I mean? You're talking about practicing on your teammate, so that you can, you know, hitting your teammate so that you know when. Yeah. So it's like, you know, at the end of the day, this is a points game. It comes down to who gets scores three points while the other team scores two points or less. <sighs> so, like, if you're scoring points, you know, within the context of the game itself. Is this itself, why you team killed me earlier? <laughs> he team killed me earlier and he said, look, I win. Pointed at the screen because he had more points than me. I mean, where's the lie? <laughs> you're right. You're right. All right, I, I think this game, I'd really like to see uh, some more tanking from E-Pad. He's like kind of getting messed up right now. Yeah, you can't start those while you have two people near you. E-Pad needs to be a little bit more aware. Even though up tilt is good at like putting people in the, the vortex. Yeah. Uh, first really good players, they're going to find that little bit of opening. Yeah. That's the thing, like a good player can grab you in between the up tilts, they can or do like, a space yeah. bear. Yeah, like, space bear, like fade back right as it ends. Or sometimes you just up air the air and like you're not helping your teammate and you're letting them down. I think that walling out is really good, you know, when it's just one on one. Like if E-Pad wants to wall out KD with, with up tilts, it's good, but when you have both of them, yeah, it might not be the best. I like this ledge play so far. Grabbing the ledge, yep. Uh, he shouldn't have got off though. That's okay, free grab. Yeah, that's fine. So, so far, this is still like very dominant. Yep. Yep. Oh, uh, no. That was too greedy. Steven just could have. Uh, now like, he has no jump. Wow. Oh my god, what a save from KD. I think it was a good risk by Stevie because he was at high percent. But at the same time, like, it made KD have to go out of his way, so. Yeah, and if, you know, they were a little bit better at reading KD's recovery, he could have got punished for that. Yeah. I will say, though, like, he could have just down aired that, and he wouldn't have died, but he would have been, he would have set himself up well. Or he could have just nared. Yeah, or nared. <laughs> yeah, that one too. All of a sudden, Kirby has to spend 10 years recovering, and you can focus on the other guy. I like that Nair. That's the, this is the Nair I've been talking about. Like people keep on doing F smashes and down tilts. Yeah. <laughs> the Nair doesn't allow for good DI. I know that because I know Kirby Secret's not. <laughs> You're not supposed to know those. 
Wow, that's a great grab. I love I love KD's edge guarding right now. It's so good. Ah, uh, that's not good. Scary situation. God, KD's like in the matrix right now. <laughs> yeah, Stevie's playing well too. I'd have liked an up smash there from KD because it's the only thing that would have killed. But I think sometimes people forget that Pika up smash is a viable option for when people recover. Yeah, it's so good, and it's yeah. like hard to beat. And if you get a trade, Pika wins. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like how when people forget to do up B with Falcon. Yeah. Just getting walled out right now by E-Pad. F smash. Wow. That was a great series of reads from E-Pad. Oh, okay. Man, that's, that's, you can't up tilt that many times. No. In K teams. Caleb was going for the optimal punish yeah. instead of the quickest punish. Yep, and now E-Pad's dead. Wow, this is pretty dominant. All right, I'm gonna go use the bathroom for All our right. set. This looks like it's over. Good stuff to Caleb and Epad. They played yeah. well. Good games. Good games. And then uh, good stuff to KD and Stevie for adjusting. All right, we'll see you guys in the game.